All right, guys. Trying out the new um, GoPro HD camera, 1080p. Gonna zoom in here. We have 13 out, 10 in, 61% um, humidity out, and 68% in. And it's about 11:30. I just got done work. Wanted to film the tiny house for the first time in HD. And the reason why I'm here is I'm getting rid of these two boxes of leftover thermal pan. You guys may remember um, this is the stuff I use underneath the tiny house as a radiant barrier and to hold the rock saw insulation up so it's right below us under all this, uh, under layers of insulation and all that. Um, I'm here to check out the trailer. It's been a while. I've been busy working and filming going to try and film with the new 1080p camera give you guys a nice peek see so this is the basically the kitchen area um kitchen countertop bamboo and that's some nice storage underneath it is still a construction zone guys so this is not the finished product um there's the mirror this is what the camera looks like um let's see here's the solar wall I get a lot of questions about this guy because nobody can make heads and tails of it but picture each one of these as individual solar setups so where my arm is that's where that one ends this system goes into its own battery bank and it has its own solar panels so and there's a total of five why I did it this way instead of one massive bank because on crappy days where I don't have sun and this let's say this the first system here is drained down I can shut everything off leapfrog to the next one that's full and again and again and again and by that time I'm back at the start and everything's recharged so that's why there is the pantry um, next to the kitchen sink um, Right now it's got storage underneath and inside is the basically going to be my um, food storage um, I kind of don't like it how close it is to the fire But then again, we got some wood to protect it and it's going to be I'll shove everything way in the back um, but for now, it's got my all my tools. I will have to build a tool cabinet to store all my tools inside here. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. Up here is a mess right now. Um, I just put a bunch of stuff up here for now. Um, here is the fireplace. I should get a nice view of that on the 1080p. And um, basically, uh, let's see we'll do the bathroom area next so here is the urinal um, slash optional extra sink the composting toilet there is my gas setup for the off-grid tiny house the propane this is all propane goes up and around and to the shower which is this is where my aqua cube shower tankless hot water system was I brought it home for the winter because it does have an internal battery and you don't want to leave that out in the cold all winter with no attention. You want to give it a little trickle charge. Here is my free television um, channels. The aerial, it looks pretty ugly in here. Here is my water storage, about 525 gallons total of uh, water storage if I wanted to. And that feeds the sinks um, to the tiny house by gravity um, and here is my shower and I have a little storage in between the totes and the shower got my towels hanging here they're all dried everything looks pretty much dry in here yep um, let's check my uh, oh this guy picked up quite a bit of water you guys see that Oh, it does work. It took a while. Interesting. I like this. 
next time I see some I'll get some more that worked well um the tiny house was all sealed up for the winter so that's okay um but here it is guys this is 1080p on the new camera and um this propane tank by the way is temporary um this line with the uh uh regulator is going to be fed out there's always there's a hole already drilled on the outside of here i gotta i gotta detach that from the manifold the end of the hose take it outside run that back through into the tiny house attach it to the manifold and then run the rest of my line out to the back wall here where I'm going to build a stand for the two I have two 100 pound propane cylinders so I'm only going to have one hooked up at a time but that way because it's too much pressure if I do lead them um, and there you go so here's a look 1080p I this is the first time I'm doing this so bear with me I have to get used to this camera now I'm used to my old goodie but here is um, this is the um, uh, clothes rack that I hooked up it's just gas pipe black iron gas pipe I'm gonna have my clothes hanging here just past the fire a bit so they might get some air drying going on um, and they're far enough off the wall I put the hanger on so they're not touching the wall at all so they'll have some airflow in between and behind this is the battery belt box for the battery bank um, that's the Coolitron a refrigeration and heating unit 12 volt I have some construction materials still here um, I may bring these over to my dad um, too this is the leftover wood I built this table with. This is the leftovers from the tiny house build. So I built this little table for my television, which is now at home. And um, television on top, computer, Xbox One, boxy box external hard drives on the bottom, and storage underneath. This is a gift from one of my YouTube followers, Mushroom Patch. Um, and he gave me this aquaponics setup and racking system. So I'm going to get into that next year when I have more time once the house is finished off and get, get all that going. Another window. Uh, I have my chair over here. My bedding. Uh, this is just an inflatable mattress for now. And I have a nice sleeping bag that, that works really well. This was put on the wall at Lawn Off. This was the flooring material that I have a whole whack left over. And this was just put up there to protect the air mattress from getting holes in it, up, rubbing up against the wall. Because there is seams here, as you can see. And I'm sure they would dig right into there. So that's, that's the way it goes. So, Alright guys, that's it for now um, at the tiny house. So we'll just catch you all later. Thank you.